everyone, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is sorry, chapter 2 by 2 Noah and the Flu. Let's read. So, like, the earth was filled up with people, but they kept disobeying God and hurting each other. God is sorry he had made them. He decided to send a flood to wash away everyone on earth. So the earth was filled up with people. There's so many people. And but they didn't live good. Like they was disobeying God. So God was so sorry that he had made people. <clears throat> there was a man named Noah who wasn't like it like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed him. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flu. So God was sorry to make them but there were, was a man named Noah who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God very much. They're looking so happy. Like and the others you can see they were like fighting and stealing. <laughs> God warned Noah about the flu. He told him to build an enormous boat with a low roof, three floors and no window, and the door. Noah obeyed God and built it. So God told Noah that make a big boat like low roof enormous boat and a low roof three floors and a window and a door god said like that and noah obeyed they are making hard well, many people laughed at them laughed at noah because like he have like, he was making an uh, enormous bow. High on the mountain. <coughs> Question. Who loved God and obeyed? Number one, a thief. Number two, a boy who was teasing a girl. Number three, Noah and his family. Noah and his family was correct. Noah obeyed God. God told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal, one male and one female. Then Noah and his family and the animals went and to the boat. God shut the door. So Noah, God told Noah to call it two kinds of animal, one female and male. You can see all kind of animal. Like God helped Noah to collect the animals. If God didn't help, Noah will never able to like collect all the animals because like if he have 
the tiger the and also no like maybe heard the rabbit and the tiger ate the rabbit <laughs> God helped him so he was able to like call the animals. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Water fell from the sky and rose from the oceans and lakes. Even the tallest mountains disappeared beneath the flood. So it drained for 40 days. Like, thank. One day there was the rain for 40 days and 40 nights. All the time it was raining, and like even the tallest mountain disappeared. Question Did God tell Noah to take one of each kind of animal to the ark? No, <coughs> God told Noah to take. Two each kind of animal, one female and male. Meanwhile, Noah and his family were, and all the animals were safe in the boat. Floating on the flood waters, God has not forgotten about Noah, not even a moment. So God was kept protecting them. There's a spider also. <laughs> they were all safe in the boat. God sent a wind to blow. The waters went down. The boat landed on mountain. Arata. Noah sent out the dove. When it didn't return, he knew it was safe. So God sent a wind to blow. And like slowly, waters went down. And so he wanted to check, so he sent a, re sent a dove, but he, the dove didn't return. That means there's a land. When the ground was dry, God told them to come out. He put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never the whole world again so God sent a rainbow to promise that he will never flood the whole world again rainbow is a promise question God put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he won't never flew the whole world again. True. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another good story. Now let's see you next time. Bye.